this is Dr. G.K. Prakash, uh, naturalist from Manipal Hospital, Malaysia. Uh, a brief uh, outlook on the urine. Urine is such an important uh, liquid in the body, wherein the kidneys do this job of excreting the urine day in and day out, 24 bar 7, 365 days, as you, uh, all of you know. Uh, out of the 180 to 200 liters of uh, filtration of uh, blood that takes place, ultimately we tend to, we have around 1.5 to maximum of 1.5 to 2 liters of urine. And urine uh, can be of different colors. I would uh, just talk a little bit of, uh, on uh, the color of the urine. Urine as it is in uh, general, in normal individuals, is generally light yellow in color or to amber color. So this is what uh, most of us, majority of us uh, have seen uh, urine to be uh, light yellow or sometimes even very clear. There are certain conditions which can give rise to various uh, colors, different colors. So th the common conditions wherein uh, these uh, colors can be there in the urine uh, ranges from uh, consuming a diet which can give rise to a different color, drugs can give rise to a different color and disorders of the kidney also can give rise to different colors. If you have to talk about a diet, basically the coloring agents which uh, are being used to, uh, to, the the, to the food items also can give rise to color, coloring of the urine and then uh, commonly if you have to speak beetroot and uh, the rhubarb, senna, or sometimes even the uh, black berry which they consume can give rise to oranges or red, reddish, oranges to reddish color to the urine. So these are some of the very common uh, food items which can give rise to, uh, which can give rise and uh, talk meant give rise to the color which could be orange, orangish or reddish in color. Coming to the next group of uh, items which can give rise to coloration of the urine would be drugs. Commonly the drugs which are uh, used are the vitamins. Vitamins can also give, uh, give rise to uh, the color, orange or reddish color. And then there are some anti-tubercular drugs which can also give rise to the coloration. Uh, one of the examples could be uh, commonly used anti-tubercular drugs in the form of rifampicin. And then there are uh, some anti-convulsants. So people who take uh, drugs for seizures or fits in the form of phenytoin that also can give rise to uh, this color and uh, the common antibiotics the nitrofurantoin or uh, the sulfur drugs also can give rise to coloration of the urine uh, coming to the, these two first two groups which i said uh, the diet and the drugs can also then generally give rise to this orange red or pink color of the urine is what we can get and the th third large group would be due to diseases of the kidney diseases of the kidney could be just simple infection infection meaning urinary tract infection can give rise to uh, a distinct color and then uh, commonly the nephritis what we say nephritis uh, can give rise to uh, browny uh, reddish brown color or uh, smoky color can be due to the nephritis the third big group which can be due to disease of the kidney would be in the form of breakdown of the muscle. Sometimes people who exercise excessively uh, also can break their muscle tissue and uh, also give rise to a urine which is again reddish brown. And uh, the other big group would be due to the hemoglobin which can be broken down in the body, giving rise to hemoglobin urea that also can give rise to uh, reddish brown color. There are ways and means uh, to distinguish these individual conditions which I said about the disease of the kidney which can give rise to the reddish brown color. So the sediment will tell you something different. If the urine sediment, if you take, uh, 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 take some ml of uh, urine in a test tube and then allow it to stand for some time, then you will get uh, different uh, shades of uh, color. Based on that, we distinguish the blood or the reddish brown color due to the kidney disease proper versus the other 
conditions of the kidney which can give rise to reddish brown color. Coming to some interesting colors what we have seen, rarely we see also whitish urine. Whitish urine also could be due to the infection per se or uh, sometimes the salt in the uh, urine in the form of phosphates also can give rise to or even fat or the lymph what can give rise to what is known as milky urine it is also called as chyluria. The other interesting colors in the urine of the urine could be pink color whenever there is uric acid crystal deposition, crystal precipitation on that also can give rise to pinkish color. Then uh, the pink color also is uh, quite often uh, seen again uh, due to infections and uh, drugs. And a very rare uh, color which we have seen is about uh, a disorder in the uh, system wherein it can give rise to blackish color. Blackish color due to a condition known as alcaptinuria can give rise to this black color. And of late we have also seen a lot of uh, talk about uh, in the social circles about uh, red urine. Red urine uh, was a red herring uh, to most people and it was most talked about in the social media. Red urine is not uh, the one which we commonly see but uh, there was a case report wherein uh, a, a young lady was used to uh, applying lipstick uh, almost 25 to 35 times a day and uh, she probably had uh, obsessive disorder wherein she would apply that almost 25 to 30 times a day and then she uh, was noticed to have a red colored urine and uh, it was finally uh, analyzed and uh, found that this was all because of the absorption of this uh, lipstick which was used excessively and then uh, once she stopped using it they found that the urine was no longer reddish in color. So what is important here is to note is that your simple uh, concentrated urine also can give rise to yellowish color. So it is advisable for all of us and this yellowish color what I was trying to say about con uh, getting the urine getting concentrated when you don't consume enough fluid. Dehydration also can give rise to yellowish color and one need not uh, uh, be worried that it is abnormal. Invariably what we see is because of the poor concentration of uh, uh, urine due to lack of uh, enough fluid intake. So I would advise you people to make sure that you uh, consume enough fluid whenever it is possible at least uh, before uh, you go to bed and uh, make sure that your urine is not in, in any of the abnormal color as I just spoke about. Thank you.